Hello. So in this example, we don't know the weight or the mass of the pipe, this one, but we know that the tension in the rope cannot be more than 500. So that means that TBC must be less than 500 Newton. TBD must be less than 500 Newton. TBA must be less than 500 Newton. TAE must be less than 500 Newton. And TAH must be less than 500 Newton. Okay? We don't know which one. We need everything less than 500 Newton. So if one is 400, 300, and 500, that's correct. But if one is 400, 500, and 600, no. We need to reduce the tension in each uh, rope. So what we will do is that we will try to express the, each tension um, as at the weight and play with that. First things, I will use the point H for the first free body diagram. So I will use the particle H. So we have the point H. We have the weight. Let me make it blue because I assume that I know the weight. And this one is TAH. Okay, and when we do sum of the forces on y equals zero, we got TAH is equal to W. So that means that W must be, so TAH must be less than 500 Newton and the weight must be less than 500 Newton. Okay. If we look now at the particle A, we will go slowly one for the diagram at the time, particle A. So we look at the particle A, we use the same axis, x and y, and we have the particle A, we have TAH going down, TAE going to the right, and TAB going up. So we write the, the particle A there. And we have 60 degrees from this axis. Okay, let's do force on Y first. So we can express TAB in terms of TAH. So we do sum of the forces on Y equals zero. We got TAB, the Y, that's the sine 60, minus TAH is equal to zero. So we have TAB time squared of 3 divided by 2 equal TAH. Okay, so either we have TAH less than 500 Newton, but that's already this one. But we also need TAB less than 500 Newton. That means that TAH must be less than 2 squared of 3 times 500 Newton. And this one is 2 times 500 divided by squared of 3. That's five. That's five seventy five seven seven um, newton. So we are good because oh, th must be less than five seven seven hundred. Yes. So that's correct because we always already say that th equal is less than five hundred newton. Okay. So tab will be less. Oops. Tab is less. Oh my god. TAB is less than 500 Newton if TAH is less than 500 Newton. Okay. okay. Um, and let's do some of the forces. Some of the forces on X is equal to zero for this one. So we have minus TAB cosine 60 plus TAE is equal to zero. So that means that TAB time half like 1 divided by 2 equal TAE. Okay, so chick, 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 chick. we have TAB that is less than 500 Newton. So if TAE is less than 500 Newton, right, TAB is less than 500 Newton, it's uh, 250 Newton. So we absolutely need TAE. A, 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 E, less than 500 Newton. Okay. We will plug everything after to go back.
let's do now the particle B. Oops. So we have the particle B. We have the tension T B C and we have the tension T B D and we have the tension T A B. T A B T B A doesn't matter. Oops, triangle three, four, five, and sixty degrees there. Okay, so let's do some of the forces on y equals zero first. I will come back after that. Some of the forces on y equals zero. We have T B D times three divided by five minus T A B uh, sine sixty equal to zero. So we have TBD times 3 divided by 5 equal to TAB um, times square root of 3 divided by 2. Okay, so in, if we have TBD, uh, it means that TBD equal square root of 3 divided by 2 times 5 divided by 3 TAB or TAB is equal to 3 divided by 5 times 2 divided by square root of 3 for TBD. And both of them must be less than 500. Oops. Which one is uh, bigger? Square root of 3 times, oops, outside I just make the calculation, times 5 divided by 6. This one is, um, there is 1.44. So if TAB equal 500, this one will be more. So the one there that we need to be less is TBD. TBD should be less than uh, 500. Okay. And oops, we will do the force on the Y. We will need to come back on all the equations. So now some of the forces on X. It's equal to zero. So what we have, we have minus TBC plus TBD times 4 divided by 5 plus TAB cosine 60, it's equal to 0. So we have TBC that is equal to 4 divided by 5 TBD. Probably this one will be the one that will be critical. Uh, plus cosine 60, that's one half of TAB. Okay, and we need TBC that is less than 500 Newton. So we need that four divided by five TBD plus one half of TAB is less than 500 Newton, right? This looks like to me the, the more crucial one because TBC uh, balance for the two other forces. So let's begin by assuming that TBC equal um, 500 Newton. So if TBC it's equal to 500 Newton. Okay. We have the little matrix. Let's, let's do that. We have the little matrix. 4 divided by 5 for TBD plus 1 half for TAB. That is equal to 500. Right? The, these equations. And I will use now these equations for the second uh, line for the same diagram. So it's three, five and minus square root of three divided by two. So the first one will be TBD equal and the second one will be TAB. Let's check if they are below 500. Matrix, edit some matrix two by two. So four divided by five, one divided by two, three divided by five and square root of three or minus square root of 3, minus square root of 3, divided by 2. And the second matrix is, sorry, I'm doing this at the same time, 500 and 0. Oops, matrix 1, minus 1, time matrix 2. Yay, that gives us FBD equal 433 Newton and TAB equal 302 Newton. When we do the multiplication. Okay, 
So we did use, let me write it in, uh, okay, in blue what we use, we did use this equation and this equations, and we find TBD and TAD, if assuming that TBC equals 500. Now let's come back on the particle A equation. We have TAB, TAE, we can use this one. So we have TAE, that is equal to one half of TAB. Okay, so we got TAE, that is equal to 156 Newton, still below 500. And now let's come back at TA, this one. So we have TAH, that is equal to square root of three, made by two, TAB. And TAB equal three or two, so we have square root of three, times the three or two, divided by two. This is 250, so TAH is equal to 252 Newton. Okay, and we are almost there. So we have TAH now, still below 500. And now we know from this equation of the particle H then TAH equal W. So we got W equal 262. So the mass of the oscillator M times G equal 262. So we have the mass that is equal to 262 divided by 9.81. This is... 262 divided by 9.81. This is 26.7 kilogram. Here we go. Final answer. The mass of the cylinder cannot be more than uh, 26.7 kilogram because of the way the ropes are attached together with those angles, etc., etc. Um, we will have a tension in TBC that will be the crucial tension. So this one will be 500 Newton. Oops. This one will be 500 Newton if the mass of the cylinder is 26.7 kilogram. Make sense? That's it for this one. See you next time. Bye-bye.